Following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 1st Canto, 7th Chapter, text number 38 and 39. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 30th, 1976, in Vrindavan, India. This man is an assassin and murderer of your own family members. Not only that, but he has also dissatisfied his master. He is but the burnt remnants of his family. Kill him immediately. Ra, Krishna is encouraging Arjun to kill Asatthama on so many grounds. Uh, first of all, he has killed uh, the boys who are sleeping at night. And another very important point is that Atutai. Atutai means the enemy aggression. Unnecessarily one who attacks he is called Atutai. One who sets fire in your house, one who kidnaps your wife or somebody in the family, and one who gives Poison, and there are so many lists of a certain Ingana Tutai. So, he described, Krishna described the Asuttama as Atutai. He is not a brave soldier. So, he should be killed. So many uh, faults Krishna found in his behavior, and Bhaktuscha Vipriyam Bhira. He could not satisfy his master. Sometimes the servants do something abominable for pleasing the master. Uh, so, but he could not please even the master. He wanted to please Dujjadhan, his master, uh, promising him that he would kill all the five brothers, the Pandavas. But instead of killing the Pandavas, he killed their sons. Dujjadhan did not like that. Because he knew that the whole Kuru family practically was killed. Only the five brothers and uh, Maharaj Purikhi was in the home of his mother. They survived. So Duryodhan did not like Duryodhan, whatever he may be, he was a Kshatriya and he fought bravely. So he did not like the Kuru dynasty should be finished. He did not like. But when he understood that the five sons of Pandavas were also killed, he became very much disappointed because the Kuru dynasty is finished. So he could not satisfy his master. Bhaktusya vipriyam. So whatever he had done, or abominable, not to the rules and regulations, neither as a Brahmin or as a Satriya, nor in a brave soldier, he has done uh, things uh, like a sudra, death and a sudra, 
without any religious principle, uh, so he should be killed. There is no excuse. <coughs> and it is for his good. In the Shastra, it is said that one who is a criminal, he should be killed. Therefore, in every country, up to death, a murderer is uh, killed, is hanged. Uh, that is good for him. If a murderer is killed in this life, punished by the state, government, then his sinful activity and the result of action is also finished. He is living his own life. Otherwise, if he escapes, the next life he will suffer so many troubles. <coughs> that is a thing they have described in the previous part. Tadasrahi, Tadasrahi Sriya, the verse number, Satisham, it is explained by Krishna that to kill this person, it is for his good. Uh, because he has done so many uh, criminal activities, uh, so by killing him, he will be saved from uh, serious types of suffering in the next life. Uh, Shreya. Tarabhadrasta Sahi Shreya. Jad Dusha Jati Adhapuma. Prayasthita. It is called Prayasthita. Prayasthita in the Shastra, Prayasthita is this guy. It is In every religion there is Prayasthita. Atonement. In Christian religion, the prayasthita is also advised. The sinner has to admit that he has committed sin. Then uh, he is excused by Christ or God. Uh, but uh, not that purposefully I will go on committing sins and then I shall admit and I will go on with my this business and I will be excused. No, that is not. Uh, it is quite natural that if you have done something criminal by mistake, uh, judgment, you can be excused by the authorities. But not that, because by your admission you are once excused and you go on committing uh, all kinds of sinful activities and you will be excused simply by your admission. No, that is not possible. Uh, the Christian, they do that. On Sunday they go to the church and they admit the sinful activity of the week and pay something fine to the priest and they become free from the sinful activities, reactions, and from Monday again he begins. And then again on Sunday he admits. Uh, there was a movement, uh, moral rearmament movement, Amar. So, that's why like we say that by Sankirtan uh, one is free from all sinful reaction. This moral rearmament movement also free, that by your admission you become free from all sinful reaction. But this should not be either Purina or the Christian methods of atonement should not be taken as profession. Uh, this is once 
or twice you can be executed. But not that you take it as a profession. Uh, that is great sin. Uh, we have got also Nam Aparat. Dasubhisa Nam Aparat. Ten kinds of offenses. Uh, if you chant uh, Hari Krishna mantra with offenses, then it will not be effective. Uh, you must avoid the offenses. Uh, you know, ten kinds of offenses. Uh, Guru Abhijna, Suti Shastra Nindanam. Uh, there are so many uh, offenses. And one of the uh, offenses is Namnad Gula Jasahi Papa Buddhi. Uh, he is greatest offender. One who thinks that by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, I become free from reaction of sinful life. So the whole day I shall go on committing all kinds of sinful activities and at night or sometimes I shall chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, everything will finish. This is the greatest sin. Lamna Dvala Jasrahi Papa Buddha. He is never excused. Uh, he is condemned. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepts a sinful man like Jagayan Mahadhyay on the condition that he does not commit any more any sinful activities. On this condition. It's not that uh, I have become a Vaishnava, I am chanting Hare Krishna, so I can go on committing all kinds of sinful activities, uh, there will be no reaction. This kind of conviction is the greatest offense, you should remember. Not like that, the Christian atonement. Uh, so, you should be very careful about this. Lamnad Balad Jasahi Papa Buddhi. Actually, uh, we should not take Rilam as a uh, matter of atonement or Subhokriya. Uh, Subhokriya, just like there are many Subhokriya, auspicious activities, uh, we should not take chanting of Hare Krishna mantra has some auspicious activity. It is certainly auspicious, but generally people perform some auspicious activity, subhakriya, to counteract their impious activities. This should not be done. This is also another offense. You cannot utilize for any material purpose. Material purpose is uh, described. Generally, people go to a guru uh, for benefit of some material purpose. Uh, Sir, I have got some colic pain within my abdomen. Kindly give me your blessing. The materialistic person, they are after blessing for some material benefit. They are not after Krishna. That is uh, another offense. Therefore, uh, to, go, to, to go to Guru or to accept a Guru, uh, there should not be any material purpose. One should go to a guru for spiritual advancement of life, not as a passion. Uh, people go to a guru uh, as a passion. My Guru Maharaj used to say that don't 
make a guru, just like you keep a dog as a passion. Nowadays it has become a passion to keep a dog. Uh, in the European American countries, it is a compulsory fashion to have a god, a dog. <laughs> Everyone keeps a dog. Uh, they love dog very much, more than anything. Uh, <laughs> so we are now also imitating, uh, because India is imitator. Uh, since the Britishers came here, we have become first class imitator. Uh, when the 1914, the war was going on. So it is uh, understood that uh, in High Court, Calcutta High Court, uh, there is leisure hour, tiffin hour, where all the judges were sitting. So one uh, English judge, uh, <coughs> he asked Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, uh, uh, Mr. Mukherjee, now the Germans are coming, uh, and it's Joe, what you are going to do? And then, uh, Mr. Mukherjee, Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, he replied, yes, as soon as the Germans will come, we shall offer our respect in this way. Come on, sir. So you will not uh, counteract. Why? You have taught us to make like this, so we shall do that. Uh, because you have simply taught us this, how to obey your orders. So anyone will come, we shall do this. The idea is the slave mentality. Uh, the Englishman, uh, the, in an organized way, uh, they taught the Indians how to become servant of the uh, Englishman. Uh, we have seen it is Gandhi's movement that he uh, dismantled this idea of white prestige. Otherwise, we are taught like that. So, this imitation of Englishmen, formerly in our childhood, it was uh, the advancement of civilization. If one could uh, imitate the English fashion, that was. So, we should not make that a fashion. Uh, guru is not a fashion. In the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, in Bhagavad Gita, in all Vedic literature, who requires a guru? That is uh, described. Tasmad Gurum Prabhadeta Jigyasu Sreya Uttamam. He requires a guru. Jigyasa. Kathato Brahma Jigyasa. That is human life. One who is interested in inquiring about Brahma. He requires a guru. One who has no business uh, for understanding Brahma simply to make a fashion that I have a guru, uh, this is useless. Uh, it has no value. Uh, one must be very much inquisitive to understand the spiritual science. He requires guru. The smart guru prabhadrita jigyasu. Jigyasu means inquisitive. Uh, Chatudvira bhajante maam supiti na arjuna. Atva Thati Jigyasu Gyani Cha Bharata Chava. Gyani Jigyasu Atva Arthati. The Girihasras, they are Atva, uh, distressed. So, 
in his bias. So in his distress condition, he approaches the Supreme Personality of Godhead. My Lord, I am very much distressed. Kindly give me your favor. Give me. There is give me. And jiggyasu uh, gyani, they do not want anything. Give me. But jiggyasu, actually, what is God? What is the absolute truth? That is the difference. Uh, one is going to God or asking some. And jiggyasu gyani is uh, eulogized because they do not ask anything. To ask anything from God is not higher standard of bhakti. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Nadhanangana Jalangana Sandhanin Kavitang Bhajagadi Sakamai. This is pure devotion. Uh, people generally go to Krishna, God, O oh God, give us our daily bread. This is not bhakti, but it is quiet because he goes to God. Uh, sukriti no. He is not uh, the sinful man. He is quiet. At least he has approached God. And those who are sinful, they do not approach it. Uh, they do not go even in the temple to ask something. They say, hey, what is this nonsense? Uh, we don't require, we shall work hard. Nowadays it is going on. Uh, why you go to temple? Why you give credit to God for your success? You work hard. There is a philosophy, karma mimangsa. It is like that. You work hard and you get the profit. Why you should give credit to God? This is like that. They are duskriti. Uh, they do not know that without God's mercy you cannot get anything. Otherwise, simply by working hard, anyone uh, could become a big man. No, that is not possible. Without uh, <coughs> Krishna's desire, without sanction, it cannot be done. Prakitakshimanani gunai karmani sarvasa. Everyone is under the obligation of nature and karma. Uh, one cannot surpass. Uh, uh, there are many instances in this chapter. So, we are discussing the point uh, who requires a guru? If you are actually serious about understanding a spiritual subject matter, Brahmajigasa, not this market value. If you are interested about Brahmajigasa, just like the Merchant Association, they uh, inquire what is the value of this share, what is the value of this commodity, how it is the value. Uh, no, not that kind of inquiries. Uh, but Shreya Uttamam, Jignasu Shreya Uttamam. There are two kinds of objective, Shreya and Preya. Preya means immediately sense gratification. Uh, that's like a child. Child wants to play because it gives him immediate some sense gratification, satisfaction. He does not like to go to his school or to study or to take lesson. He does not like. That is actually prayer. Uh, prayer, uh, that is prayer. Future, many things. So the parents, the guardians uh, engage him for future benefit. You must take education, otherwise in future you will suffer without education. So this is called Shreya. 
Similarly, our human life is meant for Shreya, not for Preya. The modern civilization, they are interested in Preya, immediate, some sense that is. That is not what. Therefore, Shastra says, Shreya, not Preya. Uh, the modern civilization is that eat, uh, eat, drink, be merry and enjoy. Do not care for what is future life. Uh, that is condemned civilization. Uh, we should know that there is future life, there is birth after death, and we must be prepared. That uh, is this advice in the Bhagavad Gita. Janti Deva Brata Devan Pitri Janti Pitri Brata Bhute Ja Janti Bhuta Madhyaji Nopi Janti Ma. So you can achieve this success of life. Madhyaji Nopi Janti. There are many kinds of future benefit. Janti Deva Brata Devan, you can be elevated to the higher planetary system. In the heavenly planets you get long duration of life, higher standard of life that you can get. But that is also not Shreya. That is Preya. The same material happiness in higher standards. Shreya is Manjavino Pijantima. If you practice uh, Jajina, worshiping Krishna, uh, as Krishna says, Manmana Bhavamur Bhakta Madhyaji. Madhyaji, no? The same thing. Uh, if you practice, that is your Shreya. Uh, otherwise, anything you do, considering it is very nice, you are being entangled. Uh, the Gyatya Karma Natru Lupayam Karma Mandana. Sarpam Abhyasya Dharma Satrayate Mahato Bhaya. If you try to advance in devotional service, even a little bit, it can save you from the greatest danger. And if you do not do that, if you are entangled, if you are enamored by immediate sense satisfaction, you become karma bandana. Uh, therefore, uh, guru is required who can save you from the karma bandhana process. But uh, karma uh, mukta, uh, karma mukta, that is required. Not karma bandhana, karma mukta. Sabunan samadhita etan brahma bhuvaya yoga. If you are trained up to devotion and service, march of bhavi chayani bhakti yogina jasiva, Sagunana Samatita, that is Sagunana Samatita, that is Mukti. Uh, Bhadra, condition means we are under the three modes of material nature. That is condition. Uh, and Mukti means you are not under the uh, obligation of the three modes of material nature. And that is called uh, Mukta. Uh, so Krishna can make you immediately Mukta. Mahangpa Sarva Papi Bhamakrishan. That is Krishna's power. Prabhavishna Vena. He can make the lowest class of that. Kira Kahunam, the Pulin, the Pukkasa, Vira Sumba, Javana Kasara. Then they are considered as the most sinful, uh, less than the Sudras, Chandalas, Kira Kahunam, the Pulin. Or more simple, Suddhanti, they can be purified by the mercy, by the, uh, the power, Prabhu Vishnu, you know, Vishnu has got so much power, uh, so that power you can have the benefit if you surrender to Vishnu. Uh, therefore Krishna personally comes and he questions, Sarvadanman Purishtanja, Mami Tang Saranang Baja, Ahankwa Sarupa Vibha, Mukhaishami Mahasuta. So here is Krishna's direction. You take all as Krishna's direction, 
then that is bhakti and you remain brahma bhuyaya kalpate you are always immune from the sinful reaction of this material world uh, it does not mean you cannot manufacture uh, actually you have to follow the orders of krishna just like arjun is being advised he simply follow krishna the lord that means physically he was going to punish asatthama and the direction of krishna similarly in every step of your life if you take krishna's direction or his representative's direction then you are safe thank you yeah.